Well, they're an instantly recognisable part of British life, but now thousands of red phone boxes are up for grabs. It's part of an initiative to find a new use for these relics of a bygone era. The growth of mobile phone use means there are only 7,000 working red phone boxes left in Britain, and half of them don't make money. Natalie Powell has more. Britain's iconic red telephone boxes are getting a new calling. The phone may have gone, but what's inside is still helping to connect communities. This one in South London has been transformed into a mini library by members of local conservation charity, the Broccoli Society. It's really well used. It works really well. There always seem to be a constant source of books. British Telecom, the company that owns the universally recognisable booths, is selling redundant ones to councils, charities or private landowners for just one pound. That's the equivalent of $1.30. Since 2008, more than 6,500 telephone boxes have been taken on by local communities. Now, British Telecom is dialing up its adopter kiosk scheme, making 4,000 more available across the country. It's all part of the company's plans to transform the UK streets. Clearly, over the years, um, payphone revenues have gone down and down as mobile phone revenues have gone on up and up. So as BT, they're less relevant to us financially. Um, where they're still needed, we keep them. But um, we do know um, that in some neighbourhoods, they're not being used, but people really love to have them as real sort of icons in the area. So what we'd like to do is allow people to adopt them for a pound. And for that, we will remove the payphone mechanism. And then they're able to keep the box and use it for something with a real positive social purpose. Back in South London, the Broccoli Society is taking full advantage. There's a children's library down the road uh, in the phone box. At the corner of Brexpears is another of our phone boxes where we're going to put a defibrillator. And then we have a fourth one, which we've just been given planning permission to take over. And so we're just now negotiating with B to, to sign the contract for that one. So we'll have four in the Broccoli Conservation Area. And so these quintessentially London phone boxes are getting a new lease of life. And the message is being well received by local communities. Natalie Powell, TRT World, London.